day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Love you. Hey, everybody. Hey, God bless you. I uh, hope you're still staying safe. Uh, right now, this is the 30th of May. Uh, and and we, we did see that tragedy concerning the, uh, uh, the uh, death of uh, Mr. Floyd, where the uh, police uh, stood on his neck until he, he died. And right now, there's protests going throughout the, uh, the country. Um, and that's, that's, that's something that, that, that we definitely got to keep in prayer. Um, people are just frustrated. Uh, this is a string of systemic issues and, and pent up issues and also dealing with the virus at the same time. Uh, there was some good news today that the, uh, uh, the space X successfully launched and, uh, into, into, uh, out, out of space. Uh, that, that was a positive for the day. Uh, but at the same time, the, the riots are going on and people's homes are being burned. And, uh, and then how, how many people can be affected by this virus because of the close connection, close proximity? Uh, that, that's talking about with the police as well as with the protesters. I mean, they really yelling and getting into the, each other's face, and and based on understanding this virus is you know, it, it's airborne, and and you know now they're talking about when you speak loud, uh, that thing is projecting up to ten feet or more. Uh, so it's it's just ugly all the way around, and then all the businesses that are being destroyed, people destroying their own neighborhoods. Uh, this, this is the time for prayer. This is the time for prayer. Uh, you know, we had put down before, and and one of the scriptures that uh, I was looking at, that's just just we gotta pray. You know that one we did was back in Isaiah, and I I was reading that one in Isaiah chapter I think it was uh, six, Isaiah six, and and it was. It still may, gives a ring of tone that if we don't watch out, uh, it, we, we have some problems. This is one in Isaiah 6. It was very, I was reading it 8 through uh, 12 in that, and, and, and it's talking about send me. Uh, and I'll read this to you. I'll read this to you right now. It was saying in a verse 6, it says in Isaiah chapter 6, verse 8, at, also I heard the voice of the Lord saying, whom shall I send, and who will go for us? Then said I, here am I, send me. And he said, go and tell this people, hear you indeed, but understand not, and see you indeed, but perceive not. And that's what's going on even with this virus and, and this, this, even the protests and even the, 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 the senseless killing, they see, but they perceive not. They perceive not the fact that the Satan come to steal, kill, and destroy. And what we saw in this whole sequence, there's a death, more death, there's this looting, which is stealing, and then there's destruction of property. That's all the works and the, 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 the trademark of Satan that's going on, you know? And they, but people not perceiving that it's the enemy who's coming to steal, kill, and destroy. Verse 10, make the heart of this people fat. Oh, and make their ears heavy and shut their eyes, lest they see with their eyes and, and, and they hear with their ears and understand with their heart and convert and be healed. Violence and hate only multiplies. Love is the answer. And I know people sitting there say, I, I can't love them. I'm telling you something. Hate only multiplies. You give hate, you, it multiplies. It perfect. 
it, it's just almost like the virus itself. It just spreads from one person to the next because of hate. And I, I mean, come on, guys, uh, just pray. I'm telling you, and I know some people say, well, 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 that's all you can do is you're going to go out there and stop from yourself. Pray. And, and it says right here in the verse 11, it said, Then said I, Lord, how long? He answered, until the cities be wasted. You know, we read that before. We read that a couple of slides before. I mean, a couple of videos before. Where, and, and look at this, until the cities be wasted with inhabitants, and the houses with man and the land is utterly desolate, if, if we don't pray, if we don't get it under control, we lead into destruction. Verse 12, and the Lord had removed men far away, and there be a great forsaking in the midst of the land. Come on, y'all. Think about it. And, 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 and you, it's not to provoke one another, but, but to learn to heal. We have to heal. And hopefully something, something good will come out of this. I know that much. But we, we have to let that healing process start. And the voice has been heard. The, 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 the violent complaint has been made. The, the, the crime has been seen and perceive it. But, but they go further until you wear it out, until you get to the point where your anger uh, drowns out the whole purpose of this thing, which is justice. You know, people say justice, no, no justice, no peace. Well, I mean, if you sitting there bringing it, you can't bring, you can't do injustice to get justice. So we already see that there's injustice. Let's now focus on the justice by praying and, and, and letting the system work its way out now. And I think it's gonna, I think it's gonna come out good in the end. And we got to stop the rioting. We got to start loving one another and praying for one another. You know, and one of the things, and this this is part D of the video, was talking about the fact is that he knows your name. And God knows the name of everybody that's out there right now that's sitting there protesting and so forth. He knows your name. He knows the man that was killed. He knows the man who killed him. And, 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 and maybe, you know, back up on that, he may not know him. <laughs> You know, there's that scripture say, I never knew you. If you if you hate, God said there's no part of him in you. You know, hate may feel like something, feel good, but in the end, you know, if you're not connected to God, which is love, then you, 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 you're off base. So let's learn to love one another. Uh, and, and, and one of the things is we read in Matthew going into this particular part is uh, Matthew 10, verse 26. Uh, and that's where it starts off. The whole title is about uh, have no fear. Uh, and one of the things that keyed into that verse 29 of that, Matthew 10, verse 29, are not two sparrows sold for farting, and one of them shall not fall on the ground without your father. But verse 30 says, but the very hair of your head are all numbered. You know, we, we, we talked about that and going to the video, see his hand is that the, the significance of the hair, if he knows the number of hair on your head, look how important you are and valuable to him. He knows and cares about you. That's why he wants to know you and, and for you to know him. He loves us. And, and we want to get to the point where he gets to know him, you. We know we start over that scripture in Philippians 10, uh, what is it, 10, I think it's 10, 13, 10, Philippians 3, 10. He said that I may know him and the power of his resurrection and the fellowship of his suffering may not conform unto his death. The thing is that we want to know the power of God, but understand that the fellowship of his suffering, we're seeing the suffering and, and we're fellowshipping in that suffering, but it's the power of God is going to deliver us. So I really want you to listen to this video. And I really want you to understand, God knows your name. God heard the cry of that young man. And, and the person who did has been arrested. And the other people will be arrested. And maybe they get the attention of other people who sit there and allow injustice to occur in front of them to say, uh-uh, no, brother, I ain't going to jail for you. 
I'm talking about if you're a police officer you're sitting there and you see another police officer doing something bad, you're gonna say, no, I ain't gonna do this. I'm not, I am not participating in illegal activities. I will arrest you if you violate the law. That's what I think it's gonna to get to. That's what's gonna come out of it. Cause people, it's a lot of good officers out there. We're trying to serve and protect the citizens. And, and now they're getting to see them and saying, look, I want to protect my buddy, but if my buddy going to stay, step out of bounds and he doesn't heed to my calling to say stop, then that officer now knows he's obligated to do what needs to do to enforce the laws. So hopefully that will come out of it. Believe and trust in that. And don't, don't, let, it, don't, let, our, don't let the protest and the, 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 the riot, the drown out the message and the answer. We're tired of it, but we got to sit there and let the system work now. I think they, I'm pretty sure they heard you. I heard you. <laughs> and I know they hear you. I think something good will, good coming out of it. All right. So remember, God knows your name. Pray. Get to know him. All right. I hope you enjoyed this video and we'll catch you next time. Amen. God bless. Bye-bye. What Bishop was talking about is, are you? Uh, what are we operating by? Fear? Because he said, "Have faith, not fear." So go ahead, Chris, on that. This is always for thirty-three, twenty-six, thirty-three. All right, I got to move y'all out the way a little bit so I can see the whole thing. So let me get there. All right. Have no fear, Matthew ten, starting at twenty-six. Fear them not, therefore. For there is nothing covered that shall not be revealed and hid that shall not be known. What I tell you in darkness, that speak ye in light. And what ye hear in the ear, that preach ye upon the housetops. And fear not them which kill the body, for they are not able to kill the soul, but rather fear him which is able to destroy both soul and body in hell. Are not two sparrows sold for a farthing, and one of them shall not fall on the ground without your father? But the very hairs of your head are all numbered. Fear ye not, therefore, ye are of more value than many sparrows. Whosoever, therefore, shall confess me before men, him will I confess also before my Father, which is in heaven. But whosoever shall deny me before men, him will also, him will I also deny before my Father, which is in heaven. And you know what I got out of that was <laughs> that he values me. He knows the very number of hair on my Limited, <laughs> you know what's on my head. <laughs> There's hair up there. We just can't see it. <laughs> but the thing, the thing is that he knows me. No, 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 no. That's Man. beyond knowledge. That that's beyond knowledge. The, 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 that is intended to signify. Do you do you understand the significance of what that means? Come on, that hairs on your head. Come on. Yo, your, your hair ain't even significant. Come on. You, you, you get your hair cut off. Woo, come on. Oh, he's taking an interest on you. You are so valuable and precious to him come that on. he has numbered every strand on your head. Come on. <laughs> mm -hmm. Woo. He, he knows the fine details about us. Come on. As an expression of the deep love, the great value and worth that he is set upon us. You ain't even sure stuff ain't important to you. Come on. You ain't stuff ain't important to you. Come on. You don't know how many pennies you got in your house? Because you don't care. You don't care. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he knows you. <laughs> and he wants you to know him. <laughs> Woo. Come on, brother. I mean, that is what you want. To know you your pain. Go ahead. If we don't have that relationship with him. We don't have the confidence that we need in order to really go forth and propagate the kingdom in the manner that we should. Uh -huh. David knew God. Yes, sir. He had fears with him. Woo. He had fear when he went before Goliath because he knew God. He knew God. 
knew that he was, he was understanding someone, but he knew the God that backed him. Yes, and sir. I think what we have seen in our history in America is that we have not done something because we were fearful. We some stands because we were afraid that we didn't have the strength or the power to actually, you know, pull it off. Right, right. We weren't going to take care of our family. We weren't going to get the job. We weren't, this wasn't going to happen. So we cowered and we backed away from certain things. We, but what God has, is bringing to bear in our understanding is that with him, if he be for us in accordance with the word, who can be against us? We can stand for truth. Yes. If you stand in accordance with what we can, we can propagate the gospel in, 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 in boldness because God is with us. We're not going out there talking to demons that we got to be afraid of or people that we got to be afraid of. Come on. <laughs> the strength that we have is the faith that God imparts. Come on. Sometimes I think, Jimmy, we don't move in faith. I mean, we don't move in courage because we ain't heard nothing. Woo. Mm -hmm. when, I, when I heard God, you Woo. can't do something else. I mean, <laughs> it like if I'm sitting there thinking about it, this might be what I'm supposed to be doing. Woo! You might give me away with a little bit, but when I know God and told me to do something, Woo! you know, man, what you bring? Because at that point, I am fully convinced that whatever He has told me to do, I'm gonna be able to pull it off. Woo! Because when He spoke to Pete, He said, "If it be you, bid me come." Come. <laughs> he said, Woo! "Come." If Peter's faith in, in Christ was so strong, his confidence in Christ was so strong that he knew whatever Christ said was going to come to pass. And that, I think, is where we're moving to. We're moving to a place of that level of faith. And when we operate like that, we can Ooh. better manifest the glory of God in the earth. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Let me say something about, say something about what Johnson just talked about. See, if, 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 if what I think we miss. And it is what we need right now. See, what, what I've been wanting, what I'm, what I'm seeking God, I, I don't, listen, when them leaves fall out of my tree on them, in my backyard, all them sticks fall out, I pick them up the day, tomorrow, they're right back out there. I pick them up the day, tomorrow, they're right back out there. You know what I started doing? I said, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to turn this into a time of fellowship and communion and meditation with God. Uh -huh. so I don't pick it. Sure. Rather than complaining, I'm gonna ask God all the questions. I'm gonna express all the, the the things I got concerned about. I'm gonna ask. I, I'm gonna intercede. I had Sabrina out there in the backyard this week. Uh -huh. That young lady we both been praying for. While I was out there picking at them sticks, I was crying out to God. So look, I don't know who she is, God. I don't know what her problem is. I don't know where she is in life. But I do know one thing: if the hairs on her head are numbered, come on now. <laughs> You set your love and affection on her. If you can give benefit to the kingdom, if you can use her to glorify yourself, don't let nothing pass from this earth that you don't get glory out of. I'm asking you, not my will, but thy will be done for this earth. Man. Woo! Lord, Lord. Listen, when Jesus says to Peter, come. Yes. What we fail to realize, and I believe this was everything in me, when Jesus opened his mouth to say to Peter, come, inside of the vocalized spoken word come is also the power to come. To come. <laughs> Woo! Yes, sir. Woo! Yes, sir. The word. If the power Peter God. received those words in faith and let those words penetrate his heart, it unleashes the reality of walking on water. Come on now. Amen. Come on. <laughs> it ain't no different than let there be light. Let there be light. <laughs> he because spoke. when God says something, Come on. what we say, inside of what he says is the reality of what he says and the mm. power to make it happen. Wow. <laughs> if you can unlock it through faith, then that thing, it cannot fail. Amen. Wow. But for Peter, it got him out of the boat on top of the waves. He only had a problem when he got distracted. That what? says to me that inside of what God says to us is the actual substance of the reality of what he said. Of what That's he said. What yes. Amen. Yes, sir. You know, you know my fact. Problem is, <laughs> my problem is, he ain't said nothing. He, well, well, that's a, wait a minute. Well, you haven't heard it. You, you haven't heard it. You haven't heard it. But, you know. Now, you go to a pub, 
Next time you go to your pulling, you pull the verse out where he tells Peter to come, and you try it. Because mm-hmm. <laughs> he ain't said that to you. But if you can get him to say it to you, mm-hmm. if you can get him to open his mouth and speak it to you, come on. <laughs> and I think that is the key to the manifestation of the Son of God. When we start to hear what he's saying and doing it, we're an unstoppable force. There is nothing on earth that can stop us from accomplishing the will of God other than us. Hey, hey Elder, 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 look, is that possible that we do hear, but we don't speak, and therefore we don't do what he tell us, you know, what time Chris he told you to do it, but you don't do it, then, then it's almost like, well, I ain't got nothing else to say to you, Brother Addison, until you do what I told you to do. You, 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 you haven't responded to the last thing you, you just said a lot right there, brother. You Ooh. just said a lot. Come on now. Because, mm-hmm. you, you know, the, the reason I was putting that, the, the scripture that you guys, you just read, I just want to add this to it for the, a thought. Is <laughs> he said in verse uh, 27, I think it was, let me see here, what did he say? I tell Doc. He said, verse 27, what I tell you in darkness, that speak ye in light. And what mm-hmm. you hear in the ear, what ear? Spiritual ear, that yes. preach you upon the housetop so that mm-hmm. other people are going to hear what I'm telling you. But if you're not oh, sitting there oh. doing what I asked you to do. Come on here now. Come on now. How, how, how you, how, what else you want to hey, hear? Hey, stop, stop, stop. <laughs> now, let, me, let me speak to your mouth. Ah, oh, you speak that. <laughs> Woo! Yeah, that, that, that was coming too fast and too furish. I couldn't handle it. <laughs> oh, here we go. So here we go now. We here. We go. I've been asking God. Woo! I need for you to tell me that I am I am secure and guarded when I go out of my house. I need to hear from you. Because if I can hear from you, I'll burn up every mask and all the hand sanitizer. Ain't none of that gonna matter. But I need to hear from you. I got to hear from you. Come on. If I can hear from you, then I can have peace and absolute assurance. I can stand and say, look, do what you will. Do what you will. <laughs> see, this is the glory of it, you see? The beauty of it is, now it draws you into a deep, intimate trust and relationship and dependence upon God. Amen. Because once you understand, that his word cannot fail. Come on. Bishop. Bishop. Yes, sir. What am I, I'm like them children at the, at the foot of the mountain, and I didn't see the lightning and heard the thunder, and I'm afraid, and I'll tell him, okay, don't tell him for now when he speaks. Don't speak to me. <laughs> yes. you, you, you go up there, he speak to you, then you come back and you tell me what he said. Woo! And I'm cool with that. I don't. I don't need him trying to speak to me. I don't, I, 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 no, I, I heard him speak. And when he speak, I get scared. So you go, let him talk to you. And then after you get it, you come on back down here. And then you let me know about what he said. Then I'll make a decision on it. I like that. So then you can deny everything he said, go. I don't hey, think hey. I told you that. <laughs> and, the, hey, and that's the safety, that's the safety and comfort of church right now. Oh, the church right now. I, I say that because I, I think that's 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 prevalent. I mean, that, that a lot of that is going on in that. Uh, oftentimes, too, I think we're even taught not to hear him or from him. And he only he only speaks through certain offices Woo! and certain people in those offices. And and why would me just a pew warmer really think that God is going to speak to me when he got the pastor up there and the elders? Come on, I mean, why would he speak to me? Well, you know, that McCann said that 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 rings true in this is that Woof. when he spoke, when he speaks, the power to accomplish what he is commanding or ordaining is in his word. Woo. If I speak to a homosexual, say you need to stop being a homosexual, that ain't gonna have no impact. But if God speaks to one, Come they're on. gonna be empowered at that point to turn from their ways. Amen. And that and that's what it's gonna take. It, that's what it takes. When they hear us say something, it had to be us speaking as the oracles of God. We can't just come and start talking to folks. You know, you need Amen. to do that. Out of Amen. my spirit, I can't empower anybody to do that. Woo! In the cardinal realm, we had motivational speakers and we had coaches that would inspire us. <laughs> but in the spirit realm, 
the, the, the dynamic has changed tremendously. If God ain't speaking, you ain't effective. You ain't so how can they preach if they be sent? Woo! He's sending them. So if he's not speaking in that particular situation, then we're going to be not effective. So we have to hear first. And then we speak what, what's to be uttered. When they hear him speaking through us, that's when they're going to be empowered to turn from whatever it is that they're bound by. They're going to be loose. The bondage is going to be loose in. But that's difficult for us to get to. We're growing to that point. Because well, when you thing. look at it, we're, you're, you're speaking to the sin and the sin nature. You're, you're not speaking in love mm. and you're not speaking life in that situation. You know what I'm saying? Yes, so you you you're speaking condemnation. You're you're speaking rebuke. There's no there. I mean, the, the love of God is to let them know that Christ died for them as well, yes. and that sin has been paid for. Wow. And then you allow the Holy Spirit to speak to those individuals, not us. Uh, Unless God gives you something so say, to speak to them. I think he had to initiate the conversation because yes. they didn't prepared to hear it. But he even even, even without him initiating the conversation, you fulfill the law by demonstrating love. Without discriminating? Yeah. yeah. That's, that's so there's no need to look at those gay guys over there. You know, you're you're going to hell. That's a sin. You know, well, that's a sin, just condemning them people. Wow. There's no love in that. Yeah, come on, bro. You, you know, your desire is for them to be, to receive Jesus Christ yes, as sir. their Lord and Savior. Yes, sir. The man is standing in the gap. Woo! Man. So, so it, it's, it's, it's imperative that if you're not hearing from God, you do love. Just, just just, walk in love until you hear God gives you something specific. Yes. Now you preach it. Yes, sir. Yes. Yes, yes sir. That, that's what he, I think that was the whole point. That was say, and he knows you. And that was this was time to say that how you see yourself in him. He knows you. He values you, Chris. You, 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 he knows that. The one other scripture, I'm not again, I don't have it in this one, is, is the Deuteronomy one, the one of the scripture that's sent out in advance. You know, we ain't gonna ever get to it. Is the fact is that you're the apple of his eye. It would it be appropriate to say that I see myself as one yeah. with the Father, one with God, one with you God. are. And, and, and as I see myself, is that I begin to operate in that vein, understand that you know, hey, he said, I'd never leave you nor forsake you. I never Whoever, I'm, he sees me it. going right alongside me. The shepherd didn't leave for me. He push. He didn't drive. He never drives me. He Come, on, Come on, So wherever it is that he's leading me to go, he's already out front in it. Woo. I, I really think that for me, the, the lack of confidence, like, you know, your, your dad tell you to do something, right? You go, my daddy told me to do this. And my mom told me to do this. You operate in the authority that they have imparted to you through their words. And we, the sons of God, literally operate in the authority that our Father imparts to us through His Word, whether He's speaking through us spiritually, through Scripture, but He is imparting something to us when He speaks to us. Yes, sir. And we can operate in that strength. Come on. David was not afraid of Goliath because he knew God. David had a personal relationship with the Father. He wasn't scared of Goliath, nothing else. So, what devils are we afraid of? Well, well, you know, the thing, don't forget you said, and, and, and with David, he said, you come with your your earthly things, you come Very with the sword, you come with your shield, but I'm I'm coming in the name of the Lord. Yes. You know what I mean? Hallelujah. And brother, yes. when you are operating like that, it's, a, it's, it's an irresistible force. You know, you know what I mean? It's like, who can stop us? We are at the top of the food chain. Are we going to suffer persecution? Yes. Go yeah. But so, are we going to be successful? Don't be afraid of it. Yeah. yeah, he said, don't be afraid of it. Don't be afraid of it. You said earlier, somebody said, Jesus said, somebody said, Jesus talked in an authority that we didn't even, they, they, they just said, nobody talked like this man before. Yes. Huh? Yeah. And the question is, that when we're speaking, are we speaking, you said Oracle of God, are we speaking on the authority of God or the authority of ourselves? Amen, man. Amen.